Today's file, U.S. Navy Ghost Blimp L-8. On the morning of August 16, 1942, U.S. Navy Blimp L-8 and its two-person crew launched from Treasure Island, California on an anti-submarine patrol. About five hours later, the blimp was seen but the crew had vanished. This is the story of the U.S. Navy Ghost Blimp L-8. In 1937, the Goodyear Aircraft Company built the L-8 blimp for the United States Navy. It was used for training missions and anti-submarine patrols. Lieutenant Ernest DeWitt Cody and Ensign Charles Adams piloted the L-8 blimp on the morning of August 16, 1942. This would be Flight 1093 for the L-8 blimp, the previous flights were all without incident. At 6.03 a.m., Navy Blimp L-8 launched from Treasure Island near San Francisco armed with two depth charges and one 30 caliber machine gun. At 7.38 a.m., the L-8 crew noticed an oil slick about four miles from the Farallon Islands. They radioed in what they had observed to the Treasure Island controllers. The crew on a nearby fishing ship witnessed the L-8 blimp descend to around 30 feet above the ocean surface to observe the oil slick. This was the last confirmed sighting of the L-8 with the crew aboard. The controllers at Treasure Island were unable to contact the crew after 8.50 a.m. Roughly three hours later, the L-8 blimp appeared in the sky near Ocean Beach. It drifted down to the beach where two fishermen took a hold of the blimp's lines to hold it down. When they looked into the control car of the blimp, the crew was gone. Unable to hold the blimp any longer, it rose off the beach and made contact with a hill which knocked one of its depth charges to the ground. Without the additional weight, the L-8 lifted higher sending it drifting over the Olympic Club golf course. A valve released helium gas which started to deflate the L-8 blimp as it drifted over Mission Street. As the blimp continued to lower in elevation, it brushed by houses and telephone poles before finally crashing at 419 Bellevue Avenue. When military and police units arrived on scene, the door of the L-8 control car was open. Neither of the crew members were inside or near the crash. All three parachutes and the life raft were still accounted for in the control car. The radio and engines of the L-8 were switched on and there was no record of a distress transmission. The Navy investigation into the incident determined the L-8 blimp hadn't been shot down. Land and sea and coastline searches for the missing crew found no trace of them. Lieutenant Ernest DeWitt Cody and Ensign Charles Adams were declared legally dead in 1943. Years later, after the war, the blimp was sold back to the Goodyear Company. It was repaired and renamed America and then flew over sporting events until its retirement in 1982.